So guys, on this episode of Kit Tips, Kit Guides, I forget what I call it, uh, we'll be looking at how to apply water slide decals, or at least what I do, and how to finish them and whatever. This is a Bev Bell Athern undecorated box, uh, Tuscan red box car. Um, I don't know, it's, it's identical on all the sides, you know, it's a really simple kit. Really well done for something of its age, I'm guessing it's at least a little old. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, we're going to be lettering this for Dirty Water. The Dirty Water Railroad, uh, you know. Now, it's one of the not-so-serious things that I'm actually into making. So, I, I guess I'll just get into what you got to do, and then we'll get to it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want your decal sheet, or just decals, um... I'm just going to hand letter it because it's easier, but if you have the logos and what I've already printed out and whatnot, you know, feel free to use that. You, you just, you cut them out with a smaller pair of scissors. I don't know, I, I don't, cutting things with scissors is such an elementary thing that I am not going to go over it. Okay, I'm not sure if this is visible. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can see it. But I got the, oh, the reporting mark and then the, uh, the running number for the for the box car. I mean, I guess I'll guess I'll go through how I'm gonna format that real quick. Uh, yeah, you know, just sit tight. Oh yeah, uh, when you are cutting out decals, just uh, be sure to use um, a decent pair of scissors. You know, nothing nothing too large or dull. Just use use something decent. Like I I, I don't know what scissors these are. Yeah, I have no idea what scissors the, uh, these are, even though... Oh, but the logo's right there! But I have no idea. Just, uh... Make sure they're not dull and that they work. Okay, so I've got a very rough idea of where I want it. I just marked out where I wanted it to be centered. You have this uh, little metal ruler, although I suppose anything works. Anything with any sort of measurement works, and, uh... And these mechanical pencils. So yeah, I guess I'll... Put you in the phone stand and then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so you guys might not be able to see this too good, but uh, I guess I'll, I'll go through with it anyways. So we got our, our letter W right here. I'll just gonna want to get it soaked. Prime soaking time is between 30 and 60 seconds. I should probably prop this up a little bit. You know, you can just... You can just guess and check. Uh, you know. Let this sit for like 10 more seconds. And we'll probably put it above our median line. And number below it. Eh, just a little bit longer. Okay. That should be good. Let me get a Q-tip. I don't know where. Uh, I do apologize. But you get a Q-tip. Just dampen the area just a little bit. And get it on your finger or something else. And you put it down. And then with... And you can flick that away, I guess. This is not working out how I thought it would. Uh, whoops. If the area is moist, you can move around the decal. So don't... You want to press down on it with the Q-tip or some other device like that, and uh, boom, you applied it. Uh, I only applied the W because it's in the center. I'll probably just end up doing the rest off camera. But you know, you 
You done good. It's a W. It's a W for win. Okay, so like uh, right now I've decaled uh, this half of the car. This side of the car, I should say. I don't have any letter decals small enough to go on the ends. But eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the other side off camera, like I did the first side. And then I'll show you how to apply a finish and whatnot, you know, just just in case. Okay, so uh, I went ahead and did uh, the rest of the car. Uh, I'm really hoping that, that the two minutes or so that I filmed of me putting on the W was, was enough information. If not, please feel free to ask in the comments or whatever. But um, yeah, I guess up next I'll show you how to apply a finish. Uh, I'm going to be using, like, um, hand-painted, like, Mod Podge finish just because this already has a finish on it. But uh, if you want to use spray finish, I guess just just refer to whatever instructions come with the canister or whatever. I, I have no idea. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get into that in just a second. So, yeah, now we're on to the, the finishing process. Well, putting finish on, at least. So this is... Um, Matte Mod Podge, that seems to be the exact finish that this is. Um, this is just what I use for just purely decals. But, like, you, you would want to use spray clear coat. If you want to use spray clear coat, you could do that. Let me just pour a little bit of this. Get one of our brushes. It really doesn't matter which one. Uh, dang it, my, my TP roll is empty. Oh, here's an almost empty one, and just just to help dry the brush off, I guess. Okay, we'll take our freight car, we'll put it on its side. It's, yeah, you can. Well, I'm right here. We take up a little bit of this. I'm pretty sure this is the matte finish. So we're just gonna. Go over where the decals are very, very gently. Make sure that you've waited like um, at least a half hour or so, just so they have time to settle. Or like at least a half hour. It could be, could be longer, could be shorter, I'm not entirely sure. But I just wait a minimum of an hour just to be safe. I'm probably gonna, it's gonna come up as, uh, white at first just like a like a clearish white but just just be it dries clear so don't worry i guess i'll hold it up just so we can do two sides at once uh yeah okay all right we're going somewhere we are in fact going somewhere and make sure you get over at least all the decals it's fine if you don't do the spaces between them, but at least do on top of the decals and a little bit around them, just so they have something to hold on to. Uh, the the benefits of using Mod Podge is that you can like match it, you can like blend colors together, not colors, you can blend finishes together to get a uh, a mix of of them. Like if you were to blend like um, matte and satin, you would get like a Bachman finish I guess I don't know I uh, I'm still I am I'm still thinking about it. I'm still working on it but I guess um yeah so you, you applied the finish on your car you just gotta let it dry and then I'll show a couple cinematics of the finished product and maybe it running behind eight or something so uh it turns out that this is a satin finish box car uh that's cool uh you know uh, the uh, the Mod Podge is very inconsistent in how the finish is, but I, uh, I'm sure w once you're used to it, you'll know exactly how to deal with it and whatever. So, oh yeah, you, you can totally see that. Okay. Yeah, I'll just show the finished product after I fix this. So, just, just, just beware. Beware. Well, if you made it this far, then you've probably finished your decal job. And, um, as you can see here, it's not... It's not amazing when you shine it in the light, but some nice clear coat. Put some clear coat over that. It should be hidden pretty well. Uh, there's a... I, I apologize for that. I, I, um... 
TLDR, I had to sign a bunch of thank you cards, and they had glitter on them, and I'm going to kill whoever chose the ones with glitter. Uh, yeah, anyways, this is the end of the decaling tutorial. Uh, ask me any questions that you have in the comments. Remember, this whole thing has been what I do. You don't have to do exactly as I say, or exactly what I do. You know, you, you, you find what works for you. This is just what works for me, and so I use this. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.